What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from SamuelGuru.com. Today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're talking again about One UI 8.5. Just a few days ago, I brought you guys the first look at One UI 8.5's design language. We wrote an exclusive piece about it, got the news out there first. Since then, we followed up with tons of new features about One UI 8.5, additional coverage. Other people have covered it. Uh, we've covered their work. I'll put all the SamuelGuru coverage below. But today I wanna to talk about specifically one thing because some people were very upset that I compared the new One UI 8.5 design language for menus, et cetera, to iOS 26. And I understand people are always a little upset when Samsung fans say that Samsung is imitating the iPhone, but sometimes they are. And honestly, a lot of you are saying that it looks more Material 3 expressive. You can see in this comment here, some guy said he unsubscribed from the channel because of this, and I said, Bye, Felicia, because, hey, if you're going to unsubscribe or something so silly, well, whatever, it's fine. Anyway, um, I do not think it looks like Material 3 Expressive more than iOS 26. And today I'm going to show you guys three examples to compare them because I do have right here with me, I have my Pixel 10 Pro XL and I have a brand new iPhone 17 Pro Max. So take some screenshots from three key areas and we'll take a look. Before we get started, do want to remind you guys, make sure to check out the website, join our mystery box program. If you're interested, you get a free case cleaning kit, 65 watt charger when you buy a new Galaxy S26 device in January, 2026. All the details to sign up are below. You can also mark us as a preferred source in Google News and Google Discover to get more great Samsung exclusives from Sammy Guru, our reviews, tips, tricks, tutorials, and our coverage here on YouTube. All that's below if you're interested. I also have a link up here if you guys want to check out the mystery box program. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's take a look at the very first comparison. Let's look at the about phone or software information screen, which we first shared in that video I made two or three days ago. And you can see here at the little, the top, the little back arrow gesture, if you compare it to the Pixel 10 Pro XL, Material 3 Expressive and iOS 26, you'll see not only does the arrow look more iOS inspired, Samsung has always kind of been there, a little different than Google, but the drop shadow gradient, and also when you scroll, the blur transparency looks a lot more iOS than it does Material 3. This was the very first criticism that people had was that I was saying this menu looked more iOS than Material 3, and it really does if you compare them all side by side. Now sure, Material 3 Expressive itself is kind of similar to iOS, and Google could have developed these independently side by side, but the fact is you're always gonna end up comparing Samsung and Apple and maybe not Samsung and Google, even if maybe you should, because Samsung and Apple sell a lot more phones than Google. I understand Google makes Android, but it's just something you have to realize. If you see these all three side by side though, you can clearly see that in this original instance, it's certainly the case, at least from my view, again, make your own decisions. Let's talk more about it in the comments. Um, I have no problem discussing with people, but I think it looks a lot more iOS. Now, if that doesn't convince you, Let's move right along to the phone app or the dialer. So if you see this screenshot here from One UI 8.5, you can clearly see not only is the phone icon itself on the dialer shaped the same as in iOS, Samsung has done that before. Google has like an oblong little pill shape there. But if you look at the menus at the bottom, they, the drop shadows, the container and everything, <laughs> the transparency, is all different than what Google is doing with Material 3 in the dialer on the Pixel 10 Pro XL and looks a lot more than the like the iOS 26 screenshot, which you see right there on my iPhone 17 Pro Max. Um, particularly, even though Samsung obviously didn't steal the liquid glass yet, and I hope they don't because it creates a readability nightmare. I hate that about iOS 26 on, the new, on my new iPhone 17 Pro Max. I don't like the fact that that liquid glass, just the transparency and all of the way they have it right now tuned, it doesn't look great. Samsung didn't go that far in terms of how far they, they you know, dialed up the transparency slider there um, and made it look exactly like liquid glass. But the container and the way the drop shadow is when you have something highlighted, that certainly looks more iOS than the Material 3 dialer that we see there on the Pixel 10 Pro XL. In addition to just the shape of the buttons and the rest of the feel of the menu, you have to admit that even in light or dark mode, it looks very, very similar to iOS 26. Now moving along, finally, if you're not convinced after these two examples, to the My Files app, which all of these devices have, of course, Google has their own version of Files, Samsung, and then Apple. The Apple version has long been inspired since they brought Files to the iPhone, which took a long time. It's crazy that, I don't even remember what year, but iPhone took a long time to bring a file manager 
to iOS, which is, blows my mind because we've had an Android forever. But they've always had theirs kind of inspired by what's on their Mac because, of course, their Mac is where they originally had file management before they brought it to their smartphones. And so if you look, you see like the big files and everything like that. Samsung has never really done that. They've always had these more muted menus and things like that. And also, you know, once again, if, if you look at it, Material 3 versus Samsung, this looks way more like the Apple design of my files because of those menus again at the bottom where they didn't go full liquid glass, but the drop shadows, the containers, the way that things are highlighted when you have a selection there looks much more reminiscent of the iOS 26 My Files app than it does of the Google My Files app. So in my view, there's a lot of other examples of this, obviously, and we'll probably see more because this is still an early test build of 1U8.5. Can't expect to see everything in this early build. Samsung will probably change some things. They'll add some things here or there, but there's a lot more to come. I'm really curious what you guys think after seeing this. Do you still think Material 3 Expressive when you see uh, 1UI 8.5, or do you think more iOS 26? I think as long as they don't go full liquid glass and create a readability disaster for notifications, for menus, everything else, then I'm not super upset about this because they're still retaining a lot of the Samsung design language in a lot of these applications. Anyway, a lot more 1UI 8.5 to come. I'm working on an everything to know video, rounding up everything we've covered in the early build well, which we will update on the website over time. So bookmark that post when we put it up over there. Join the mystery box program if you're interested below. Set us as a preferred source on Google. We have instructions on how to do that if you want. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.